God bless everybody. Hey, we're going to talk about how to survive the first quarter. How to survive the first quarter. Stay tuned. Man, welcome to January. A lot of new people. It's your first time in January. The first quarter, January, February, March. It's rough. It's hard for a lot of different reasons. I don't have time to explain. I got a bunch of people that are on it explaining why it's like that, but it's just like that in logistics January through March. Um, a lot of ways to survive to my box truck, Sprinter van, car, cargo van owners. One of the things for my box truck people, looking to doing some moving, moving, moving jobs, junk removal. These are different ways to do fill-ins to make up for the revenue that we're losing at this particular point in time. In our, in our season. Um, and for those who have perfect backgrounds, final mile delivery. You know, I know you don't like to do it. We got spoiled. Those are other ways we can survive. Get some of these final mile contracts, go through the logistics companies and get with them and do the final mile for a lot of different reasons. Cost efficient. And you got to find people with backgrounds to help on those contracts, those things will, will sustain you and keep, you know, you're not trying to make a lot of money off there. Those things will sustain you while we go through this terrible story. This is uh, a bad storm. This is a pretty bad storm, just FYI. Um, those are different things. Uh, also, some of them box truck owners you might want to get your CDL, go work for a company for a little while, get your CDL. These are just different options so we don't have to close the doors on our businesses. Diversify your business, uh, you know, do more dispatch. It's a lot of different ways that you can make it and sustain in this time. And if there's other uh, ideas that I haven't mentioned, please put them in the comments because we, I do this because I have a heart for people and I wanna see all of us succeed. And in order for all of us to succeed, we have to give up and these are all things that I'm utilizing myself, every one of them. Can't go deep into detail, but everything that I mentioned on this video, these are things that we're using to stay afloat in this time. It's hard on us as well, but we're making different uh, adjustments to make it work, you know. And finally, OTR. I'm sorry, over the road. And look, when I say over the road, please understand, when you go over the road, when you send your driver over the road, he or she got to understand they're going to spend the night where they're going 90% of the time. Would you rather do? Would you rather pay a hundred plus dollars to come back with nothing, or would you rather spend a hundred dollars on the hotel room and wait on something in the morning in close proximity? Like I said, box truck owners, you want to stay on the east side, major cities. If you get close to a major city, that's where you want to go to try to get your next load. And you may get the room where you at that night, but that morning you need to be headed to that major city. This is something I just did last week. Just FYI. From Memphis back to Dallas. I had to go. I ended up in Mississippi. Let's, just, let's make it plain. I, I went and did a load too. I do loads too. Just FYI. Ended up in Mississippi. Stayed in Mississippi, went to Memphis, got went to Memphis, picked up a load of Memphis, and came back to Dallas. This is what you have to do sometimes. So that's the that's the final one, OTR. Oh, that's the OTR. You have to have somebody willing to spend the night. It's not going to work any other way. You're going to lose more than anything. And don't expect high rates through January through March. You know, I know we all agree to take certain rates, but. If you look at the industry like I do and many others do every single day, not only are you behind the computer, but you're behind the wheel, you know that we have to negotiate reasonable, but we're going to have to, it's more strategy now than ever. We need strategy. We, we talked about this a lot, closing out last year, but we need strategy more now than ever. So men and women, Boys and girls, this is just some things to help us. May God bless us. Prayer and belief and faith and diligence, dedication, determination, and diligence, and, and the dedication, determination, and discipline. That's what's going to get us through this trying time. So I just wanted to share these pointers and ideas to help you survive so you don't have to give it up. And you may have to give up for a little while. You may have to. You may have to go back to work. That's okay. 
you now have to save up again because you got in at the wrong time. Everything's about timing, but that's okay. But it's just a minor setback for a major comeback. All these things that are happening are just minor setback for major comebacks so for men and women. I'm, 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 I'm with you. I, I pray for you that you succeed because I want to, I really have a heart to see everybody succeed. Now, there's no greed in this thing. I want to see everybody succeed. So these are some things. Now for my, the, the vans, Sprinter van, cargo vans, you basically got to go OTR right now. That's just the way it is, you know, and you're going to have to be patient because it's going to be hard on the yard, on the, on the Sprinters, you know, but I think the Sprinters are going to survive because a lot of people not sending big freight. They send a little freight. So there you go. You know, just got to, you're going to have to go OTR as well. So we've covered pretty much the basis of everything for everybody. So let's go get this money. God bless. And I'll see you next time.